best boxing content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and punch that bell for notifications. Ladies and gentlemen, DeBella Entertainment and Tony Holden Productions are proud to present the main event of the evening, 10 rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division. Brought to you in association with your king of beers, Budweiser, and sanctioned by the New York State Athletic Commission, Chairman Ron Scott Stevens, Commissioner in attendance, Jerome Becker. If this bout should go to the scorecards, the three judges scoring are Tommy Kazmarek, Wynn Kintz, and Melvina Lathan. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Wayne Kelly. And now, for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, from Buffalo, New York. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, Wearing white with red and officially weighing 232 and three quarter pounds. He has a perfect professional record. 26 bouts. 26 victories, including 24 knockouts. From Buffalo, New York. Here is the undefeated baby, Joe Macy. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trimmed with red, his official weight, 209 and one half pounds. An excellent professional record consisting of 18 victories, including 16 knockouts with only one defeat. From the mile high city of Denver, Colorado, ladies and gentlemen, the viral Hutch Asleep Williamson. DeVarro, Joe, we're boxing under the rules of the New York State Athletic Commission. I expect a clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Shake hands, come out boxing at the bell. Good luck, 10 rounds. This is Joe Macy's night of nights as a prize fighter. Is it his fight of fights? And you can see that both fighters against lesser opposition have produced first round fireworks. In fact, Macy in his last fight knocked out Robert Davis of Akron, Ohio in a minute and 20 seconds. Navarro Williamson sticks the long jab in Macy's face. Local observers say to me, Baby Joe has to prove he's fearless in this fight. If he hangs back and gives Williamson a chance to try to land something big from range, he'll be making a mistake. There you saw his pretty quick hands. Well, Mason's been getting hit with a few other jails, but what seems to be to his advantage is that the Val Williamson seems to be very stiff, very upright. Very volatile for straight punches. Macy reaching up against the taller Williamson and landing a one-two. The body is there and available to Joe, and he starts to go to it with the left hook. In comes upstairs and lands there as well. Good start for Macy. Macy's made a good combination of boxing and bullying, mixing it in and out, which is working very effectively. Being physical, but still boxing. That time he blocked the jab. That is 
is it. A one minute and 50 second knockout for Joe Macy. Lightning strikes on boxing after dark in Buffalo. And he <laughs> looked good every second of the round, setting it up. Yes. Got him with a few jabs, sort of moving, getting underneath the jabs, and then exploding and moving in and out, exploding, moving in and out. Very smart fight. They call it star quality. And Joe Macy has just provided a bundle of it to the heavyweight division. Talk about putting an exclamation point on the night and making his night his night. The crowd sat through 20 rounds of preliminaries, watching heavyweights bat each other around the ring without putting each other away. Macy came out and showed in a minute and 50 what heavyweights intend to do. This is the kind of heavyweight that I like. I love knockouts. Now, yeah. let's get real here. He knocked out a 210-pound heavyweight. He knocked out a guy who has a questionable chin anyway, who was knocked out by a journeyman named Willie Chapman. So maybe it isn't exactly front-page headline stuff. But it was a great knockout for a great it, occasion tonight. It absolutely was the drama that, that the sport <laughs> was looking for and that we were looking for. And DeBarrow Williamson, as you see, is still on the canvas. Well, let's watch it again, Emmanuel, and talk about how Macy set up the knockout. Yeah, Macy DeBarrow is too upright and very stiff. And once he got hurt, he just really didn't, it, like Dr. Ware, he didn't know how to clinch properly. So all he does is keep putting the pressure on him, not mixing up his work. Never, never letting the guy clinch. Once he landed the first big right hand, it was just a matter of continuing yes. the throw. Well, the guy and he was, finally yeah, got in the left. He was standing there trying to trade, and he was half groggy and really couldn't see what was going on. Instead of tying up the guy, and so was, you know, Macy could get hit with five punches, and once he landed the first shot, he was going to go on out, still knock out. Uh, Williams we, we was still hurt. He'd never recuperated. It's fun to watch on the replay and see everybody come to their feet as the action heats up. Watch him stand up. Oh, you can see the knockout was on his way. And, and he was going to stand there and trade. He was not going to clinch at all. So there's no way he was going to survive that first round. I was thinking for a minute that the count was fast. But on the other hand, it really wasn't the count. Williams is still on the canvas. So I guess it's a moot point. <laughs> yeah. Could have counted to 1,000. Welcome to Buffalo, touch of sleep, and, yep. and now there's a new reason to call Barrel a touch of sleep. Yep, well, he's been touched, <laughs> and he went to sleep. <laughs> and he slept. <laughs> you know, when you get a guy who's a good puncher like uh, Darren Williams, and you make him have to punch fast, they always, you know, get unorganized. They have to think, they have to set you up to get their maximum punching power. But when you make them punch fast, they're unorganized, and they don't punch that well. Let's let Michael Buffer give the crowd what they're waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Wayne Kelly reaches the count of 10, and this bout is officially over. At 1 minute, 37 seconds of round one, the winner by knockout victory, still undefeated, the pride of Buffalo, he's baby Joe Macy. Well, somewhere there's a Hollywood scriptwriter who is saying, yep, that's the way to write it. I mean, not a technical knockout, a knockout. No, just an assault, a mugging. That's what you like to see. There are the uh, copy box numbers for the one minute and 50 seconds that Macy and Williamson spent in the ring with each other. The real key was the right hand that started it and the left hand that finished it. And now let's go to Larry Merchant in the ring for a fun interview. Go, Larry. Thank you, Jim. Congratulations, Joe. Did you envision this happening this way? I, I, had, I had ideas. I had ideas. I, he leaves himself a little open, and uh, I, I know his chin is a little questionable. And my punching power is very underestimated, and, and I, I figured that it would be within the first five rounds. 